Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP and the game preview for July 4th, 2024. And so this year, uh, again, we're going to be doing our annual Independence Day sharp practice game. And I did do a vote in the uh, Facebook group uh, and ACW won uh, going away. I put, a, I put um, I'm sorry, AWI won going away. I put ACW in there as well just because I feel like playing it. And it does have some relevance to 4th of July with the Gettysburg and everything, but uh, we're doing AWI, so no-brainer there. I'm doing a custom mission, the dust-up at Johnson's Creek. Uh, so there's going to be a creek crossing involved here. The British are going to be escorting a cannon to Philadelphia. And the rebels have set up a blockade here at the uh, bridge. They put a roadblock across. They're waiting in the trees. It's going to be mostly militia. Uh, minute men from the uh, local area trying to stop the British uh, from getting that cannon to Philadelphia. So uh, to win the game, the British have to get the cannon off the board to Philadelphia. Uh, and the uh, rebels, meanwhile, have to stop the cannon. But if they can capture the cannon, they're going to get a major victory. And they can use the cannon themselves in another game, possibly. So that's the mission. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, there's going to be some special rules I'm not going to go over every special rule here in the uh, in this briefing, um, but uh, there's going to be roving patrols. There's going to be a Minutemen uh, lurking in the area. Cannon's going to have some special rules. The Creek's going to have some special rules as well. So it should be pretty fun. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the forces involved. Starting off, we'll take a look at the attacking British force. So these are going to be uh, point. These are point based, as I wanted the attacking force to have more points than the defending force as they're going to have to try to force their way across the bridge it's going to be difficult for them so they're going to have a bunch more points so they're going to be 86 total points and we're going to be uh, having three groups of british red coats 1777 they're going to have thin red line and sharp practice they're going to have a level three big man and a level one sergeant assisting him and then we're going to have two groups of hessian grenadiers they are aggressive they're going to have a level two leader we have two groups of Indian ally skirmishers. They're aggressive with tomahawks and a prominent leader. They're both going to have uh, their traditional two level one leaders, Tatanka and Son of Magua. And lastly, we're going to have one group of light dragoons with Tally Ho uh, with a level one leader. So the uh, the main body with the cannon, well, I guess I should mention the cannon as well. It's going to be a light cannon uh, with a level one leader. So the main body with the cannon is going to be coming in from the road. Uh, the British will be able to deploy a secondary deployment point, but they will not be able to use that to deploy across the river in any way. So they're going to have to move up uh, from the road, undo the roadblock, move across the river. There's a ford as well, uh, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult as this creek, creek is swollen due to heavy recent rain. So it'll be uh, dangerous to go across the ford, although it is a secondary way uh, for them to get across. Um, there will also be able to possibly outflank um, there's going to be a mechanic that they'll be able to come in from the long edges on the other side of the river using some flags um, to do that so that'll be a choice for the cavalry and the indian skirmishers so that is the british force let's take a look at the rebellious continentals the continental force uh, base will be 57 points with the possibility to get it up to 67 or 68 points with some additional forces so we're going to have two groups of rebel militia in line. They are bad shots and no bayonet, so pretty bad. Uh, they're going to be led by a level two leader who's going to be the big man for this uh, this army. There's also going to be two groups of rebel militia skirmishers. Their only rule is no bayonet. Then we're going to have Wadsworth and his frontiersmen and rangers. Uh, they're light infantry skirmishers, aggressive, good shots, tomahawks, rifles. Easily the best unit uh, that the Continentals can field. And there's going to be a rule that on four flags, the rebels may bring in either a group of uh, cavalry or two groups of continental line troops with a level one leader, and they would be coming in on the continental side of the board on the road. There's also going to be a rule called Minutemen, where essentially we can recycle these militia skirmish units if they get combat ineffective, shocked out, whatever it may be, the continental commander can choose for the price of a bad things happen role to take them off the board and bring in a fresh unit with that same leader number uh, on the road. So just a way to keep the militia skirmishers coming in uh, should they have a hard time stopping uh, the British getting across the bridge. And um, once the, if they do get across the bridge and start fanning out and they got a lot of line troops, they could do a lot of damage. So um, just a way to keep the uh, 
rebels in the game. We'll see, though. I mean, as usual, we'll play it on the fly and adjust as needed based on what's happening in the game. So this game will be played on July 4th on Thursday at 11.30 p.m. for our live stream. So it'll be nice to play it uh, on July 4th proper. And Steve will be coming over and we'll decide who's going to be who when he gets here. So uh, anyway, that's it for this briefing. Let us know what you guys think. And we hope to see you guys at the live stream on Thursday.